Here I am. Good morning. I'm going to put my comments on. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Chime in. Let me know you're here. <clears throat> let me know that if you've got your coffee with you. Let me know if you can see me. Good morning. I'm working on it. It's all it's always a it's always a process. <laughs> yes, virtual hugs to you too, Jenny. Yes, you're in the right place, Luann. Here I am. I'm ready for coffee. I'm I've been drinking coffee. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Bets? Hi, Bets. Hi, Rachel. You're on your second cup. I just started with two. I did uh, um, two shots of espresso. So I know snow. It's going to be so cold tonight. It's going to be like 30 degrees. I'm frozen. Oh, boy. I'm not surprised. Let me know if you can see me. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kathy. Good morning, Mary Jo. I wish I could see you guys. Can you guys hear me? Hi, Shirley. Someone tell me if you can hear me okay. Oops, sorry. I got notifications coming in. Okay, good. All right, so um, let's talk about a few things this morning, okay, as we drink our coffee. So I'm drinking coffee this morning out of my cup from my bestie. I don't know. I always know. I never know which way to show. And it's got our little uh, to love what we do and share what we love. So I'm, I'm being inspirational today. Because I say that because I've got my to-do list on. Okay, I'm going to st stand up. Uh, you'll see the COVID like 20 to inspire, create and share. Sorry, I'm making you look at my. Anyway, I'm just being silly. Hi, Carla. Strangers, right? Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Oh, yeah, it's Jenny said she didn't get her coffee this morning. I hope you still got some coffee, even though you didn't get to go out. So. I wanted to um, share a few things. I made a little bit of a list so that I would remember because I, I have so much stuff going on. So um, uh, thanks for that, Luann. I appreciate that. Um, the, she said very inspirational. So I, that's my goal is to be inspirational. So um, <clears throat> we have a new catalog coming out. I know most of you know that. Probably all of you know that. We have a new catalog coming out um, June. I think the First day you could order is June 3rd. Am I right on that? You guys can um, chime in and let me know. Um, but as a demonstrator, we got to pre-order and I usually can't wait. So I did mine today and I got it yesterday. So I'm very excited. Um, I couldn't order everything out of the catalog. We just can pre-order um, just a small um, bit of product and um, I say that, but then my box, I got two boxes. So, and then I have a third one coming with catalogs. And then I have a fourth one coming with the things. Um, <laughs> oh, because it's on my glasses. I know I, I could just turn it off. <laughs> it's making it's, but see, it's dark, but oh, well, that's okay. I don't want to make anyone think I'm crazy. Um, so um, then I have a fourth one coming with there was a few products that you couldn't order at the time. So now we can order. So um, it's sitting there ready for me to um, put it in. So let's talk a little bit about um, let, let me. Um, oops, there. Let me go to my um, desk. So Hannah made me a cup of tea and she made cookies yesterday. And these are um, brown sugar cookies and I don't know who took a bite out of them. Uh, 
but they're really they're really really good you can't see anything to my right okay i don't know can you see my can you see my um table now let me know it's not dark and we already know you're crazy yeah i know okay i'm gonna move that aside <clears throat> i'm gonna show you um one thing out of the new catalog and when i say one thing i mean one suite of products so i'm going to show you my very my very favorite thing um it's called tasteful no it's called uh the suite is called in good taste and wait till you see um the products that are in this suite good morning cheryl hi sandy hi kathy i'm just gonna say hi because that's what we're all about it's, it's coffee class and it's all about um being social and um uh and hannah's watching from the kitchen i i bumped her out of the nest she's working from home and i made her move i didn't really she just did so this one's called in good taste and the stamp set's called tasteful touches and i really like it because look just look at if you can see it look at um think about this so think female and male masculine and feminine so we've got um we've got different um textures so we've got uh, feather um, leaves i'm thinking masculine of course we have a flower for the ladies um but not only cards just saying hello beautiful card but look at um for you scrapbookers out there and when i say that like you'll see the rest of the product but i have um when chuck and i went to um california for the incentive trip um I don't know how long that's been, uh, five years ago, I think 2015, um, with Betsy and Rick, um, I had made, it, Betsy had taken a, a nice picture of Chuck and I when we were out on the pier, and I had um, taken vinyl and did the good things in life are better with you, and so when I see that, I think how um, that would make a great scrapbook page, so um, let me show you some of the other things. There is um, an embossing folder called Tasteful Textile. It's... Um, just like uh, fabric, uh, woven fabric. And there are dyes, of course, but look how nice these are. Okay, these, I love these because they're labels, like labels, um, but look how different they are. So um, they're two-sided. When you cut, what that means is the frame will cut a stitch, the inside will cut a stitch, and the outside will cut a stitch. So if you wanna use them as a frame, I'm gonna pull them up here and see. Okay, hold on there. And then these are different. These are, um, they cut, but they uh, do a little embossed line inside and out. There's a um, flag, which I, I love flags. And then this one's a little different. I, I can't wait to cut it, but it's like a little um, zigzag circle, two different sizes. So um, look at the versatility though. I mean, there's all, I'm gonna pull them down now so you can see the sizes. So I'm absolutely, um, loving that and I can't wait to use it then there's some wood elements um, these are great just on their own these would be great on scrapbook pages great on cards great on um, 3d projects there's more there's different um, sheets in here I didn't open it up for you but these can be used as is natural or you could color these with ink so that's fabulous but here's the piece de la resistance check this out Okay, check. I don't think you can even get all this on the um, screen. This paper, to me, is totally, totally amazing. Okay. There are, what, 20, wait, what? yeah, like 24, or how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 24 different patterns. So there's two of each design and then I flipped one over so everyone's different but let me show you some of my favorites so I love this texture um there's one I don't even see here it got lost where I thought it was at the beginning here's a pink um there's some slate look at this blue that looks three-dimensional these are photorealistic Oh, here it is. It's way down here. There's a little bit of blue, gray, browns, pinks. I love this tile. 
Um, this is probably one of my favorites. The name of the dyes. The name of the dyes are um, Tasteful Labels. Tasteful Labels. And then there is a little bit of blue for you blue lovers. So do you love that? Oh my goodness. It is so awesome. Awesome. I can't wait to cut that paper. Can't wait. But I am going to um, show you, I'm going to show you um, a card that I just kind of did last night quickly. I'm going to use a new stamp set um, and it's called um, Celebrate Sunflowers. Now, remember that um, you cannot get these until June so I'm cheating a little bit and I and I'll apologize in advance but when you get new stamp sets and stuff like this you want to use it right away so I'm going to show you a fun I think fun super easy um I hope you enjoy it technique using my favorite um watercolor paper and um aqua painter but it's super easy anyone could do this so let's go ahead and get started so um the stamp set oh i gotta find the stamp i can't even find oh no wonder i can't find the stamp i'm gonna use the stamparatus okay um if you don't know what a stamparatus is it's a stamp positioning tool i'm gonna move my tea and cookies out of the way so i don't knock that over and have a mess okay Stamparatus is a stamp positioning tool and the the reason I'm using it for this because I really don't need to position this stamp but because I'm using watercolor paper um, watercolor paper as you know has a little bit of texture and sometimes um, the stamp doesn't give you a perfect image so you want to stamp it multiple times so um, you want to put you want to stamp it multiple times in the exact same place and the only way to really do that accurately is with a um, stamp positioning tool so i'm going to put my paper i want to have one big water one big water one big sunflower right about there so i'm these are um strong magnets and i'm going to put some magnets there and i am watercoloring so i'm using stays on ink um I had to kind of scramble to get find a refill last night because um, my stays on. I have about I don't know how many eight eight or more different stays on pads, but um, they were on the dry side, so I've got to order some um, refill. So I found a little bit, and I am going to um, stamp that on my watercolor paper, and I like to let it. Um, sit for just a few extra seconds to let the ink absorb and so you can see what i'm talking about so it's not a beautiful image right there but let's see if i can do better because i'm using the um stamp positioning tool the stamp apparatus i think i can go right down here and i'm going to stand up because i feel like that sometimes helps and I know that that image is going to be in the exact same place because it hasn't moved much better. But even if I want to go a little bit darker, right around that center, I could go a little darker. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so I'm going to stamp a couple more and I'm going to use, all I'm going to do is kind of, eyeball I want to be down in this corner so just making sure I'm on screen okay that's pretty good ink 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 I just do a little bit of I do tapping and a little twisting to get that this ink dries really really fast it's alcohol based so you want to make sure that your um stamping it right away you're not hesitating or waiting that's that's pretty good but i'm gonna focus on this area here where and get it a little bit darker 
just because I can. I would have been happy with it before. Okay, and I want to do a little bit here. Let's see. I'm going to go like so. I like that. And I can put my magnets on my flower because I know I'm not going to go over that. See what I'm doing there? I'm just moving my paper around and using the magnets to hold it. Okay. And I am standing up and holding it on there for just a second because there is texture in the paper. Yeah. See how nice it is to be able to stamp it more than once and not worry about it moving? That's the nice thing when you're using watercolor paper, but um, really any anything. Okay, I like it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to set this out of the way. And I just for your information, I have a piece of... Um, the small grid paper in here that you can buy this as a pad and then that way it's not I mean granted I could just wipe that off with my um, stays on cleaner and I'm gonna do that for my stamp um, you do need stays on cleaner and I'm gonna do that if I do this later it's fine I'm gonna use my scrubby pad but I don't have my scrubby pad um, on my desk I only have my um, chamois so here is the you're going to think that I'm going to, I'm going to close my stays on because like I said, that's alcohol ink. So, um, you think I'm probably going to watercolor those sunflowers. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. So I'm taking my ink pad there. I'm taking my ink pad and I'm just squeezing it between my palms as hard as I can. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get ink right here. Okay. Right here. And, um, I'm going to get my aqua painter and I'm going to, oh, my, I didn't do a very good job on that. If you cannot get the ink, if your arm, hands aren't strong enough or um, you can't get it on there, you can use a, a couple drops of your re or if you want it darker than um, what you can't, what you can see or what you can get on there. Um, oh, I'm not going to like that. I might have to snip those off. I'm going to get my fingers dirty because they're going to cause me a problem. I put my lid on. Um, I put my lid on wonky. Hold on a minute. I'm going to switch you just because I don't want to get um, ink now. I'm going to go to grid paper. I don't want to get ink on Bob. This is Bob, my friend Bob. My um, This is Bob, the little wood piece. Or it's a little... Um, thing and then my friend Rachel who's watching has um Bob's brother at her house and that's what we use to um take photographs um you don't have to be super uh careful on this um because it is watercoloring and watercoloring is easy but anyway um we use that for our backgrounds for um, when we're photographing or doing videos and so um, I made one for Rachel. So we call him Bob's brother, if she's still on there. Is this a new color? No, this is um, crushed curry. So I, I'm going to show you one that I did last night with, um, uh, I did it in Mango Melody, but I'm changing this one today. And I haven't even, um, I haven't even made one like this. So we're going to see what happens. <laughs> You'll be my guinea pigs. I think it'll be okay though. I'm going to squeeze a little, I, I'm not liking those bristles. So I'm going to squeeze a little water out there. I will go a little bit faster that way. I'm not worried about being super meticulous. I just want to kind of get in between the black. And if I go over, I want to make sure I'm not doing it all the same. Um, I want a little light here. So if I squeeze out the water, see how I'm going light now? I like that. So my edges will be dark. I'll pick up a little color and bring my darker edges. I'm looking down, so if you're commenting or asking me questions, I can't see it. Side sideshow Bob, yeah. You still have Bob, right, Rachel? You're still using him? I think I see him on some of your things. I have big Bob and little Bob. Okay, so see, um, can you see the color transition? So 
I might want to add some more dark here. Um, this is really forgiving. Now, I tried it. The card I'm going to show you later, I used Memento Ink. Um, this little yellow is because I've got these bristles that I put the lid on wrong. I'm not happy about that, but I can fix it. I just don't want to do it on the camera. Okay, I like that light in there. Okay, real pretty. So that's it. But see um, how that makes the sunflowers pop? Now, I was thinking last night, oh, I wish we still had the saddle brown. I'm going to be careful about getting the bristles inside now. The saddle brown um, stays on would look amazing with this, but we had trouble getting that. So I'm going to use some new colors. This is not a new color. This is, um, uh, I'm looking for my tape dispenser. Okay, this is um, early espresso. I'm going to try to do it in browns, even though um, the one I, I'm going to show you later, I did in black. You'll see it. I like to use a lot of tape on this because the watercolor paper is a little thick. Okay, so I've just, my um, watercolor paper was three and three quarters by five. Um, the... Uh, next layer is just an, an eighth of an inch more than that. So five and an eighth by uh, three and seven eighths. Wow, I can't believe I knew that. Now, this color is new and I had to write it down in front of me. It's called Cinnamon Cider. This is one of the new in colors. And I'm going to see if this works because I'm going to try to use... Um, what do you think about that? I, I kind of like it. I'm going to try to use this new ribbon, and this is um, one of the new colors, and it's called Bumble B. Bumble B. That is a new color. Bumble B. Bumble B. It's going to be totally different than the one I did. I hope I even have the pieces for that. Do I want this Bumble B? That's okay. All right. I like it. See how you do that? You just do it on the fly. All of a sudden, I'm not remembering what my card looked like, but that's okay. This is how I roll. This is how I roll. <laughs> now, I could um, maybe pop up that layer. I didn't pop up the layer earlier, but I might pop this one up. So I like to do, am I still on camera? Yeah, there. I like to do four, and then I'd like to do one in the middle. takes me a little bit longer to get these off because I decided to, to um, do my own nails. I I told I think I told you a couple weeks ago that one of my weird buys was during this COVID is I bought a um, gel lamp and all the fixings to do gel nails and my nails were super super short and I um, actually put gel these aren't like extensions well they're starting to come off but they're like thick gel things, so I did those the other night, and so the, now I'm suffering for it. So I had a piece of, oh, this is, this is lovely. I'm really good at this. This is my profession, people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this piece of crumb cake because that's what I have in front of me. This may look horrible, but um, that's okay. And I like memento ink when I'm just stamping a black. So this is one of the um, greetings from that set, and it says, thanks a bunch. And I've got a piece of um, crumb cake that is just under um, three quarters of an inch. I don't love the way that turned out. I think I could do better. That's why I love this paper, because there's two sides. And if this one's not good, I'm going back to that other one. But I do have, oh, that's good, see? I do have four sides to this. See, I left it long for that reason. I could do one there, one there. I could do this all day. All right, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to use these big uh, ribbon shears because that's what I have in front of me. And I'm going to uh, flag it. Okay. And I think I'm going to see if I can move this a little. I think I can. How about that? I'm going to use a couple more dimensionals. 
Again, you always hope you're doing it on the right side when you stamp on both sides. I think I am. Okay. I'm going to just put it just above the ribbon. Okay. And then you cannot finish a card like that if you don't have gems. So I'm going to use these new um, gold gilded gems and take the take your pick tool. And I love this take your pick tool. So um, in case you don't know, there's a little um, oh uh, sticky, I don't know, what do they call that? Uh, I can't think right now. I can't think. Anyway, it's nice to just pick that up and, oh, I think I want, I think I want one here. So there's my card. And let me show you the one I did last night. I did it in blacks and I used um, a brighter ink, but I'm gonna get out. Oh, it's actually not brighter. It's brighter, it's yellower. I actually like this one better. See, this one I did without the Stamparatus. See how much paler it is? And this one I did with the Stamparatus and stamped it until I got it nice and dark. Oh, I love that way better. Go buy a Stamparatus. Speaking of buying a Stamparatus, oh wait, I have all this stuff here for you. So, oh no, not that. There, I was supposed to put that on the screen. No, this is what I was talking about. Okay, so let me get that one off. All right, so if you um, <clears throat> if you don't have a Stamparatus, and putty, yeah, it's putty. Um, Carla says the end of the uh, tool is putty. So, hey Faith, so glad you could join us. I'm gonna be messaging you and telling you I do want in on the swap unless that's good enough to tell you I want in on the swap. So face our swap hostess for our group. Um, I'm going to change to my face. So, all right, so I'm gonna leave the host code on there for just a minute so you can write it down. If you um, don't know what a host code is, if you want to, um, Purchase anything that's Stampin' Up! Now, you can't purchase the things I showed you today. I mean, you could purchase some of them. The Stamparatus, the Take Your Pick tool. The gold, the gilded gems are in the ornate, um, ornate, what? Fl flower? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> is that, that terrible? Um, <clears throat> they are in there. So you can, those things can be purchased at createwithme.stampinup.net. And if you use that host code, um, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, then all my orders are kind of combined. So um, let's see. We are, wow, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm pretty much trying to keep it at a half hour because I try to upload these to YouTube um, for my friend Doris who um, always comes to coffee class but does not do Facebook. And she's actually lives near me but is moving to Texas, so I'm gonna mi I'm gonna miss her greatly. But um, she likes to see the class, so I I try to upload them and keep them to around 30 minutes. So, um, what stamp set? I don't know. Do I have to let you know on that? I'm I'm gonna just say I'm gonna use whatever, and I'll I kind of watch to see. So, um, and I'll I'll if you need to know, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna say put me in put me in coach. And I'll pick something later. So um, I want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody that is a mom. And I hope that you, um, if you're not with your family, I hope you get at least Zoom with them or Facebook Messenger with them or um, something like that or social distance on the porch um, if they're nearby. Um, most of mine are here all the time, um, except for one that he'll probably pop in though. So he's been quarantined at his apartment in Urbana so um let's see I'm gonna take that off of there so you don't have to look at that so um I think that's about it oh no that is not it that is not it that is not it don't go yet I have some things I have to tell you I don't know what I was thinking um some things that are upcoming I am doing my first product share um, what that is, is I'm going to go um, do, if you want a little bit of um, a lot of things, but you, like if you don't want to order, when the catalog goes live in June, if you don't want to order all the DSP or all the embellishments or all the ribbon, but you want some to be able to make cards, um, I'm going to help you with that. So I'm going to be 
um, doing a product share of paper embellishments and ribbon. So watch for that. I'll be posting that soon. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you might be interested in is um, I'm going to do bingo. Um, I am going to do it online. Um, that'll be coming up in June. I have June the 5th marked for it, but I'm going to start advertising that so that I can get your packets to you. It's going to be a little different. Um, we're doing it online, um, but we're going to do it on Zoom. And so I'm excited about that. It's going to be a lot of work for me, but um, I love bingo and I know you guys love it. So I want to make it um, work. And then the last thing is going to be kind of depend on what happens here with um, the world, if we can see each other or not. But I might be, I'm working on um, the possibility of doing my BOGO sale. I always do my big BOGO sale in June. And if we're um, still limited on um, who can come in or, or I, I just don't know. Um, I have a daughter that's immunocompromised. So um, I try, I try, I'm going to try to keep people out as long as the COVID is around because um, she is um, has severe asthma. And I've spent many a night in the hospital with her and I'd like to um, not do that. I've... I've Found out last week I lost a cousin to COVID, and um, when that happens, it just touches just way too close, way too close. So um, then you you start realizing how much, how important, I mean, not that you didn't already know how important your loved ones are, but um, how uh, crazy brutal this virus is. So, um, so if I can't, I'm gonna try to do it online. I'm like petrified, so I might need a lot of help and a lot of grace from everybody, even on the bingo. But um, the bingo, I think I'm starting to get it down. I'm starting to, I got my bingo cards in already and I got um, some of my supplies in um, and I'm gonna try to uh, make it as fun as possible. So watch for um, the advertising on bingo. I'm gonna be doing that very soon. I'm working on the, getting the last of my at home out um, if you haven't heard about that, we're, Betsy and I are doing um, uh, classes at home, uh, Create With Me at home, and um, we've done April and May, and I'm working on June. I'm very excited about it. We're going to be, I think I can say this, I think we're, I can say we're going to be featuring Grace's Garden um, and watercolor pencils and blender pens. So if you... Um, have always wanted to learn how to use your watercolor pencils and blender pens. I'm going to be showing two or three different techniques with them in the June at home. Um, I am super, super excited. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate it. Um, that's, that he's, he was my age, exactly my age. So that makes it like huh, a little scary. So, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm sorry, I'm squirreling. Um, so the June at home is going to be featuring um, watercolor pencils and blender pen and Grace's Garden. So if you um, look at that uh, and are interested in that, then um, you're definitely gonna wanna sign up for that. And they'll be posting, uh, today is the 8th, they'll be posting about um, mid-June, um, mid, mid-May, mid-May, I got lost. Mid-May and then um, go out in June. So I'm excited about that. So lots of things going on, I'm working really hard uh, to keep everyone stamping. If you're not a part of my uh, Create With Me creativity group, please log on there, join. Um, I think you can just join. If not, I'll watch for you and I'll try to get you in there. Um, we've been sharing a lot of fun things and with the new catalog coming out, we're gonna be even sharing more. I have a challenge out there for using punches this, this week and um, I just hope you'll uh, keep stamping. Um, that's what it's all about. So I'm here to inspire you and if I can help you, please let me know. So you guys have a great, great weekend and check in with me in a couple Fridays. Um, I'll be back with a coffee and a card. So enjoy your day. Bye.